Good morning, good morning, good morning again, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. And now we are going back to that horrible world known as the Agape Boarding School. But before we do the usual disclaimers... In the description box, folks, you are going to see the links to all the articles, news reports, and, well, one Google search that we have gone through so far in regards to the Agape boarding school situation. Please go to those links and share them on all your social media. You're also going to see the link to the change.org shut agape boarding school down petition. Again, please share on your social media, share it on your basically everything, all right? Sign if you haven't already. When we discuss the agape boarding school, just like with the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch some clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities, mental health issues, and other issues being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, folks, please use your headphones, all right? Okay, and what is the Agape Boarding School situation? Let's give you a brief synopsis. Agape Boarding School is a Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri, that takes in, quote-unquote, difficult to mal teens. Isn't every male teen difficult? Maybe it's just me. Pretty much just teenagers. Just teenagers in general. Ask my mom sometime. All teenagers are difficult. Let's just be blunt, shall we? But anyways, you see where I'm going with this. It has currently pending right now 21 lawsuits against it that are alleging sexual abuse, physical abuse, child exploitation, starvation, amongst many others. As of right now, we've had one former staff arrested by the FBI. We have another now up on corroborated charges of sodomy and sexual abuse against children and physical abuse. To get you updated even further, last week was a fucking whiplash, folks. We've had all kinds of things going on. So it started about around Thursday where they announced that they were going to go ahead and close down the school. But if you read further in the article, you realized, but only if that staff, that doctor, was still there. Then you had a stall put on it saying that the judge wanted to reconfirm some things. Then a further stall on it, that the judge needed more information. Then it came out that the judge that is overseeing the civil trials, the state trials, and basically everything Agape School related that is going on right now, is a judge who is a founding member of the law firm that is actually defending Agape Boarding School. Now call me paranoid, but it looked like a setup to me. And as of last time of being updated, we've had further corroboration on that. So let me show you that and then we'll go through the article here once we finish up the disclaimers. Excuse my long notifications thing, okay? I'm involved in multi, a lot of communities, folks. I wear a lot of hats, all right? So let me go back here to where I was seeing it. Ah, uh, yeah, let me go to his tweets. There's Robert Buckland, one of the main people that's been a part of this movement to close this place down. Uh, 
Come on, I need to get up to that fun update. So let me go here. I don't have an edit button, folks. Forgive me, all right? I'm broke. We be broke. Let me get to the update here. Sorry, we're trying to find that update. Okay, since I'm not finding exactly what, um, but basically as of right now, it will remain open with oversight, which doesn't mean jack shit. Look at the JRC. If it doesn't placate us about the JRC, it's not going to placate us here. So basically what we have come down to is at least a couple of the former kids have been disallowed to testify via live link. I'll find the tweet later against the school. They're trying to shut down another one. So far we have only one kid who's able to speak on this case on the state's behalf. So when I said I thought it was a setup and that it was sounding like JRC all over it, it seems like the Cedar County court systems are doing what the Massachusetts court systems have done for over 30 years, which is bend over backwards to protect these bastards. And the other people out here are so goddamn scared of these big Christian political groups that they're not willing to do anything that might upset them. The Baptists are one of the biggest power groups out here in my state, bar none, bar none. You might have a few assemblies of God and a few other evangelical denominations, but by and large, the huge powerhouse here is the Baptists. They got a fucking chokehold out here a goddamn chokehold they've got the money they've got the people and these politicians are so goddamn afraid of them that they won't even make any decisive action in this case so i'm gonna go ahead and read this article here kansas city missouri the Missouri Attorney General and state child welfare leaders filed an amended complaint Friday afternoon saying students must be removed from Agape boarding school because of a long pattern of abuse. That was the original. Remember, this is going to report all the whiplash. 
The complaint filed in Cedar County Circuit Court contained additional details that the AG's office said provided explicit evidence of systemic abuse of students at unlicensed school near Stockton that has gone on for years. Imagine an unlicensed school being continued to allow to run by your fucking state. This is the level of insanity here. We wouldn't allow any other unlicensed school to continue to operate at all. This is batshit insane. Batshit insane. Those new details also include allegations that Agape provided incomplete information to the state in recent days. So, in other words, the courts are using Agape's incompetence as a means to protect them. For fuck's sake. And it is multiple people still working at the school are appealing their substantiated findings from the Missouri Department of Social Services that they physically abused students. State law allows the staffers to keep working while they appeal the findings. Fucking imagine this shit. Imagine this shit. These people have been found fucking guilty by the Missouri Department of Social Services of physically abusing and beating and torturing fucking students. But since they're appealing, they're allowed to continue to beat and torture students. This is the fucked up of world of my state, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary folks. This is the where where I live. Fucking kill me. This is no place for disabled people or people with mental health issues or anybody really. Not anybody with two brain cells to rub together. Send help. God, if I had the money, I'd get out of here so fast. Like, in this state would know, because they'd never see my ass again. <sighs> the star has independently learned that Agape director Brian Clemenson is the one of those who was notified by DSS that he had a substantiated report of abuse against him. So literally, the current fucking director of the goddamn school has a substantiated report of abuse against him, and he's still allowed to run the school! Yeah. Yeah. Multiple sources also said that Scott Dumar, the school's longtime medical coordinator, is also among those appealing a substantiated DSS findings. Dumar is one of the five staff members who were charged last year with physical abuse of students. Oh, fuck me. Agape has failed over many years to stem the tide of abuse and neglect perpetuated at their school and ensure the health and safety of their students. Friday's filing said, The culmination of all these facts leads the Attorney General and the Department of Social Services to believe that Agape boarding schools should be closed. No other relief ensures the safety of the children residing at Agape. A hearing is set for 9 a.m. money in Cedar Court before Judge David Munton. Now, here's how I can tell you how that went. It didn't. It really didn't. Once again, the judge put a fucking stall on it, giving the Agape more time to bury the fucking evidence. And allows these bastards to continue to work in their school. Everything's now been pushed off to the 21st. These kids are being abused, worked to the bone, starved and tortured. But the judge can't be asked. I smell a fucking setup. I smell it. Oh my god. The Attorney General's office filed the initial petition Wednesday during a drama packed week that included Schmidt. Hold on, I'm sorry, it moved. 
The Attorney General's office filed an initial petition Wednesday during a dramatic packed week that included Schmidt and DSS asking for an injunction to immediately close Agape and remove students, citing concerns about their safety. The petition stated on Wednesday, DSS added a current Agape staff member to the state's central registry for abuse and neglect after the agency found by a preponderance of evidence that the staffer committed a child abuse at Agape. Mouton signed an order Wednesday night for the school's closure, only to put it on hold Thursday morning. He sent Cedar County Sheriff James Jim Bob McRae to Agape to determine whether the employee, who is referred to in court records as Staff A, was still working there. The judge is bending over backwards to give Agape an out. If you can't see that, you're blind. The judge's like, wait, hold up a minute, hold up a minute. Is he still there? Because if he's not there, we, we can keep it open. Even though you have other staff members there with substantiated claims of abuse against them. Because they're appealing, so it's okay. We'll just take in more boys to do it too. And my God, when the sheriff's name is fucking Jim Bob, you can't make this shit up. Fuck me. Missouri law prohibits someone from working at a residential care facility if the person has a substantiated finding of child abuse or neglect is placed on the registry. However, because these people are appealing, they allow it to go on. The privilege of these bastards. You want to talk about real privilege? Let's talk about these bastards. They have substantiated claims of abuse against them by DSS, but are allowed to continue to work because they have the money to appeal. People in public schools don't get the same kind of fucking protection. Just saying. On September the 8th, 2022, Agape's director, Brian Clemenson, reported that Agape Staff A was fired yesterday, September the 7th, 2022, but still resides on Agape property in close proximity to the children at Agape, the new filing said. So he's still fucking there. And you still have people working for you with substantiated claims of abuse against them because they're appealing. Those kids aren't fucking safe. What is wrong with you people? After hearing that the employee had been fired on Wednesday, DSS obtained a roster Thursday of current Agape employees, individuals with access to children, and those who reside on the property, according to the filing. Agape staff was included on September the 8th, 2022 roster that Agape provided to DSS, the filing said. Agape's harboring of Agape staff A, an individual who is listed on the state's child abuse neglect central registry, presents an immediate health and safety concern for the children residing at Agape, the document said. Agape employs and harbors other individuals who present an immediate health and safety concern for the children residing at Agape. Thank you! Friday's amended complaint also describes how, according to DSS, Agape provided the Child Welfare Agency with incomplete information about those at the school with access to the children, and about adults who live on that 500-acre campus. Who's surprised? They're going to use Agape's own incompetence as a means for a fucking cover-up. Don't fucking at me. I can feel it. I've been dealing with JRC and similar tactics for far too long. Far too long. These new developments are sadly consistent with the dark pattern of behavior at Agape previously exposed by the Attorney General's office and DSS, it said. And remember that our Attorney General, who wants to make a U.S. Senate run, has no fucking spine. I'm going to remember it come voting in November, and you better let fucking know I'm going to let all of my supporters know it. I'm going to let people first of Missouri know it. I'm going to let the Autism Self-Advocacy Network know it, considering you did it to us, too. I'm going to let NAMI know about it. 
just saying. Have fun with that. Because if you want to fucking drag your hands and let these kids continue to be fucking abused, I'm going to come out and fucking play. I warned you, Eric Schmidt. I warned you. Just say. I warned you. Now I'm bringing the rest of us out. Okay, moving on here. The new developments are sadly blah, blah, blah. The Star reported Tuesday that DSS had confirmed 10 findings of physical abuse involving Agape staff. Those findings are final depositions, and the workers involved have been placed on the state central registry and do not currently work at any of the boarding schools in Missouri, DSS officials said. Like, that makes it fucking better. Those 10 represent the number of abuse filings, DSS said, not necessarily the number of people investigated. In other words, one person could have multiple findings. Yep. On Friday, DSS officials confirmed to the Star that with Agape's employee, who was added to the Central Registry on Wednesday, that makes 11 substantiated findings related to the Cedar County Boys Boarding School. The Star has investigated Agape and other boarding schools in southern Missouri since last la- Blah, late summer 2020. Many men who attended the school in their youth said they were subjected to physical restraints, extreme workouts, long days of manual labor, food and water withheld as punishment. They said students endured constant berating and mind games, and some were physically and sexually abused by staff and other youth. Prompted by stories of abuse at several unlicensed Christian boarding schools in Missouri, legislators successfully pushed for change in a state law to implement some oversight of those schools. Not nearly a fucking enough, apparently. I'm sorry, but when you have a fucking small-ass county like this, you can't allow them to have control. Because this is the kind of shit that happens. We need fucking federal oversight. We need federal oversight like you've watched jrc for over 30 years six students are fucking dead and they are still goddamn open are we gonna let this happen in missouri too how many fucking kids does it take how many kids because i will use everything at my disposal to bring the same level of scrutiny that is over Canton, Massachusetts right here into my home state. Don't fucking try me. Just saying. Okay, that law, which went into effect July 2021, requires the schools for the first time to register with the state, conduct background checks on employees, and undergo health, safety, and fire inspections. They should be forced to be actually fucking licensed. You can slap the Christian title on there all you want to, but if you are a fucking school, there should be some goddamn oversight, and you should absolutely be forced to be a licensed-ass school. The law also gives DSS, the attorney general, or the local prosecuting attorney, the authority to petition the court to close a facility if there is an immediate health or safety concern for the children. Agape now has 63 students, about half the population the school had in early 2021, when the Missouri Highway Patrol and DSS launched an investigation into abuse allegations. That investigation led to low-level felony charges against five Agape staff members accusing them of 13 counts of abusing students. Remember, that was the Cedar County prosecutor's decision. The one who basically has Eric Schmidt by the balls. There has been a long history of allegations of abuse and neglect at Agape, and those allegations have been recently coming to public attention and DSS's attention. The amended petition said, Many child abuse and neglect allegations take years to come to light. A critical mass of allegations coming to light at the same time is sufficient to constitute an immediate health or safety concern. 
And that closes up what that has been going on all this week, folks. You have the courts in Missouri, the local courts, bending over backwards, giving Agape time to clean up. It's the same setup I've seen time and a fucking again from the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center out of Canton, Massachusetts. You'll see the links in the description box to the Stop the Shocks campaign. It's the same shit I've seen time and again. It doesn't matter if it's labeled Christian or some weird-ass pseudoscience, weird, hippie torture center like the JRC. It's the same story, and it's the same setup. It's money. It's greed. It's power. I'm going to close out on that disturbing note. My sad prediction is, and I hate to be the harrower of doom here, is I expect them to get away with it. Why do I expect it? Because they have the courts bending over backwards for them. I've seen it way too many times at the JRC. If you think the level of reports now the disturbing amount of reports coming out of Stockton, Missouri is a lot. Do me a favor and go to Autistic Hoya's massive archive. When you know of a school where six students are dead and that place is not closed down, it jades you. I can't tell you the level of jadedness that you become when you read those stories. So when I see it happening in my own state, when I'm watching it in real time with up-to-date updates coming directly from the victims themselves, it just gives me that terrible, all too familiar feeling but gives me a small smidge of hope is the enormous pushback I've seen out here. We're talking groups that normally don't even communicate with each other. We're talking disability rights groups, mental health groups, victims' rights advocates, human and civil rights advocates, all fucking coming together and unifying. This is not going to be allowed to be silently just shoved underneath the rug and forgotten. That gives me a small amount of hope. I'm going to close out on that note, folks. We don't get many reviews on this channel, especially on this subject. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this morning. And as always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. I'm going to go de-stress now by playing the shit out of Donkey Kong Kingdom. I'll see you all later this evening. Bye-bye.